when I was deciding to go on a mission, uh, there was the age change just recently had occurred. And so I decided to serve at 18. And for me, I was, I was really glad that I had went right after high school. Um, my brother, he actually just got his mission call to uh, the London, England South mission. He just reported to the MTC this past week. And um, he decided to, before his mission, he decided to go to college. And uh, for him, that was exactly what he needed. Um, however, or whenever you decide to go, um, or if you're still debating to get whether or not to go, um, for me, it has blessed my life immeasurably. I've never, ever, um, even since I got into the field, I've never, ever felt a desire to, uh, to leave my mission or, or wish that I had never gone. Um, I've always been so grateful for that opportunity to dedicate myself to to Christ and to our, our Father and uh, to serve the children of Mexico. Um, were it not for the cultural experience or for the language, uh, the really the spiritual aspect of it um, strengthened me so much and helped me to uh, draw so much closer to my Father in Heaven. Um, so for anybody that is thinking about going on a mission and is unsure, or for anybody that is worrying about serving their mission in Mexico City, um, I encourage you to have the faith to at least pray about it and to seek an answer. I'm sure you're doing so. And as you're praying, to listen. I know for a fact that uh, God wants us to serve His children and that as we do so, uh, we will bless them and we will be blessed. Elder Holland has a really amazing talk. It's my favorite talk ever. It's called The Miracle of a Mission. And I highly recommend to anybody uh, that they read it, um, that they study it, that they ponder it. In it, he says, everything that I have in my life, everything including my education, my family, my wife, my job, um, my calling, everything I owe to my mission. I owe to the service that I, uh, the, the time that I spent in that service, in God's service. Um, and he goes on to say, were it not for my mission, I would not have received these blessings. And the same goes for me. I, right now, I'm a student at BYU. Um, I'm uh, about to get engaged to uh, the woman that I love, and I would not be able to have those blessings were it not for um, my mission and the service um, that I gave. I was not the best missionary. I was not a missionary that went and baptized thousands of people, or even hundreds, or even tens of people. I, I, I was simply uh, in the service. Um, I loved every minute of it. It was hard. And it was hard not for the reason that you might think. For me, it was hard because it required me to change. It forced me to be different, to change who I had been. I was not a terrible person before. I wasn't running around sinning all the time or doing all these terrible things. Um, but I was not yet uh, the man that God wanted me to be. I had not reached my full potential. And I'm still on that road. On my mission, I learned how to walk that path. And so that was what made it hard. But it's also what made it worth every minute. I testify that I know that this work is true. I know that the church is true. I know that Joseph Smith was a prophet and that through him God restored the church, the true church today. Um, I know that because I have read the Book of Mormon. I have applied its teachings to my life and I have felt uh, and seen uh, 
and that it has blessed me. Um, I promise to any, anyone considering a mission or going to serve that as you serve, that you will be blessed beyond measure. Your family will be blessed beyond measure. Um, that you will be able to have the Spirit with you and that you will be able to feel your Father's love for yourself and for those around you. And that is what a mission is all about. It's about love. Um, as we go and serve and, and love the people around us, as we love our companions, as we love uh, our leaders, as we love our families and our friends, and as we love God, uh, we will be able to feel that, that, that happiness and that joy that comes from knowing that uh, we have a Savior uh, who has come and who has atoned for us and um, that through Him we can return to our Heavenly Father and live with our families forever. I know that these things are true. And a mission has only, has only cemented that in my mind and in my heart.